hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today I'll show you how to implement chart in your flutter application so I have here a simple dashboard page and um, I've implemented the line chart circular and the fill mode it's a kind of a customization of your line chart so the first thing that you would need would be the dependencies so I'm going to give you the list of dependencies that you need to add so the first one is the flutter spark line that's the dependency that you would need to get a graph in this fashion and i've also used flutter circular chart for the pie chart and the font awesome and staggered grid views basically staggered grid views to get these styles in this format which i've already explained in my dashboard tutorial i'll leave a link in the description and uh, the, regarding the font awesome, uh, it's just to add uh, fonts to your uh, um, Flutter app. So to start up with, I already have the container defined in my body section and the staggered grid view. So I'm not going to explain the staggered grid view. Um, I've already covered it in my previous tutorial. Uh, just to give you a brief idea, uh, it's, we need to mention a couple of properties like the cross axis count and the spacing which is the spacing between your tiles and the other tiles so I've given you the count as four which means that I'm going to occupy four columns uh, in this tile and um, you also need another factor which is the staggered tile which defines the uh, number of columns you would be occupying and the height of your staggered grid view so for example, in this target grid view, I would be occupying four columns with a height of 250. So I'm going to show you how to um, implement this first tile and you can replicate the same thing with a different graph style in your other um, charts or other tiles as well. So let me clear up this template and get back to you. So if you look at the demo, it looks like it's a single tile with a text and the graph is missing so that's what we're going to do now so this is the pay section where we're going to add the graph to add this graph all you need is the spark line so widget so it's like child new spark line and there are a few properties that you need to mention in order to get uh, the data line color point mode and the point size so what i've done is i've used a um, sample data which is an array of uh, double values so i have started it from zero and varied up to positive two so it depends on what kind of graph you want to display so first thing you need to mention the data attribute which is the data and the second one would be the line color so you could give any custom line colors of your choice so here i'm using um, in color and um, you also can mention the point mode that is you can have a graph without these points or you can just have it like a simple line so I'm gonna add the point mode and you can also give the point mode colors so and even the size as well so I'm gonna say points mode all so at every um, data value I need a points so I'm gonna say points mode all so you also have options like points mode last and none so if you say none you you won't have any points displayed the last is the only the last point gets displayed but here I'm gonna give all and I'm also gonna give the size of the points that I want to display so I'm going to give it a size 8. There you go. And I'm going to add a padding to it as like my previous elements. So, okay, there you go. I have a padding added and uh, I think I'm missing a uppercase M here. Okay, there you go. So when I do a hot restart, you should see a graph indicating my data points with the point mode 
representation. So there you go. You can see the graph. So you can change the color, you can change the point size, you can remove points and you can add the graph. Now this is one way of implementing uh, the line graph. I'm going to show you another graph which is the, uh, the fill mode where you can fill color inside the graph. So let me quickly grab the code of the fill mode. Well, for the fill mode, all you need to do is just remove these three factors and instead of a line, you got to say fill mode. There you go. You're going to say fill mode below. That means I'm going to fill the colors below my line graph. So if I say fill mode below, there you go. And I'm also going to add a gradient because I just don't want a single color to be filled up. I want multiple colors. So I'm going to give it an um, array of colors. So I have here amber 800 and amber 200. So if you do a hot restart, it gives you that variation of your graph. So let's see. There you go. So it's the same graph with the same data points, but only thing is it's in the fill mode with a different variation. So whenever the, there is a peak um, in the value, it, you want a different color and whenever it's in the negative side, you want a different color. It's possible by uh, assigning the gradient values. So this is how you implement graphs in a uh, Flutter application by using these libraries. There is another library also which is called the um, circular chart. With that you would be able to achieve the uh, circular graphs and uh, the use cases would be one would be the dashboard. So you could use it in a dashboard or uh, it could be um, if you click on this graph it would take you to another page which gives you a more detailed structure of the graphs so this way you could implement charts in your Flutter application. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please do give it a like and subscribe. And if you find my videos informative, please do share it. Thank you.